uh, let's talk about what are the various delays that we have in computer networks uh, delays means uh, the time right so one thing is transmission delay first one is transmission delay okay so i'll write it as tt so tt denotes transmission delay so what is transmission delay is let us say this is a host and this is the link right this is the channel or the internet or whatever right so let us say this is the host and this is the propagation medium transmission delay is nothing but the time taken to transmit a packet let us say this is the data packet on to the outgoing link is called transmission delay okay understand this the time taken to transmit the packet the data packet from a host on to the outgoing link is called transmission delay see whatever i am saying is informal definition for formal definitions you please refer the textbook this informal definition is uh, you know enough to understand the concept so understand uh, transmission delay is nothing but if there is a host and if it is having a data packet the time taken by the host to put the data packet on to the outgoing link is called transmission delay right so how to, how how to find out the transmission delay is this way if the bandwidth is if the bandwidth is 1 bit per second which means every second i can send i can send 1 bit i can put 1 bit onto the link right then if the data size is 10 bits then what will be the transmission delay for this data the transmission delay for this data is in every one second i can put see bandwidth is saying that in one second we can transmit one bit that is what bandwidth says bandwidth says how many bits we can transmit in one second right it is nothing but one bit per second now i have to send 10 bits so how much time will it take 10 seconds therefore transmission delay for this data of 10 bits is 10 seconds that is what you should understand so if the data if this size of the data packet is let us say l bits size of the data packet is l bits and the bandwidth is capital b bits per second then what is the time taken to transmit this data of size l bits is l by b seconds how l is bits and b is bits per second when you divide bits by bits per second seconds is going to come up right therefore even by looking at the uh, values even by looking at the units you can understand what is the formula so formula for transmission delay is l by b so uh, transmission delay depends on two two things one is length of the packet and other is bandwidth of the network if the length of the packet is too big obviously transmission delay is going to be very big which means the time taken to put a big packet onto the outgoing link is generally more and if the bandwidth is high then the transmission delay is less which means if the bandwidth is uh, very high you can transmit the packet faster right so let's see one problem one problem is if length of the packet is 1000 bits and the bandwidth is bandwidth is 1 kbps okay then what is the transmission time transmission time is nothing but l by b and l is given as 1000 bits and bandwidth is given as 1 kbps 1 kbps means 1000 which means you get one second if the question is if the length of the packet is 1 kb not 1000 bits 1 kb and if the bandwidth is 1 kbps then what is the transmission time so transmission time do you think that both the questions are same do you think that we should get only one second i think uh, you know the answer is not the same the reason is whenever the length of the packet is given in terms of k it is actually 1024 bits and the bandwidth is given in k it is 1000 okay therefore the answer is 1.024 one point you have to note here is whenever data is given whenever data is given as k it means that it is 1024 
if the bandwidth is given as k it means that it is 1000 whenever data is given as m it is 1024 into 1024 bandwidth is given as m it is 10 power 6 data is given as g it is 1024 into 1024 into 1024 and bandwidth is given as g it is simply 10 power 9 therefore one thing you should understand is always data is expressed in powers of 2 because we are having in bits and bandwidth is expressed in powers of 10 the reason is bandwidth depends on frequency and frequency is generally measured in decimal and data is measured in bits and bits are now generally in powers of 2 that is why here data is always in powers of 2 and bandwidth is always in uh, powers of 10 so transmission delay is nothing but the time taken to send a packet not sending the time taken to put a packet onto the outgoing link right and now once the packet is here then the packet has to be delivered to the other side right which means the last bit has to reach the other side that is called propagation delay now we see now we shall see what is propagation delay say there is a sender and there is a receiver okay now sender wants to send a packet to receiver we have already seen that when the data packet is with the sender the time taken by the sender to put the data packet onto the outgoing link this time is called transmission delay tt right and whenever you transmit the packet it doesn't mean that the packet is received by the destination the packet is still here and i know first bit has traveled to some distance but the last bit is still here now when can you say that the packet is completely received by destination is when the last bit of the packet has moved to the destination which means the this one bit the final bit the last bit has to physically cross the entire link right that it has to physically make a journey from uh, one end of the wire to the other end so this time is called propagation delay therefore propagation delay is time taken by the signal or one bit to reach from one end of the link to other end of the link is called propagation delay what are the factors that this propagation delay depend on is one is distance if the distance of the link is too much then obviously the propagation delay is going to be very high and second thing is velocity right if the speed of the signal is very high then it could reach the other end fast therefore propagation delay tp is generally distance divided by velocity and uh, most of the fibers right now are optical fibers inside the optical fibers uh, you know signal travels with the velocity of light and generally the velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8 so v the velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8 in case of optical fibers it doesn't travel with this much speed it travels with 70 percent of the speed which means 0.7 therefore velocity of the signal inside the optical fiber is 2.1 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second this is the velocity of the light inside the optical fiber so propagation delay is distance divided by velocity and velocity in case of optical fibers is 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second and these parameters will be given to you in the exam you know you need not by heart what is the velocity that will be given in case if they don't give it you assume that it is 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second okay now uh, tp equal to d by v uh, let's solve one question here let us say the distance d is 2.1 kilometers and the velocity is v is 2.1 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second then what is propagation delay tp the propagation delay tp is distance by velocity what is distance 2.1 into 10 no 2.1 kilometers which is nothing but 2.1 into 10 to the power 3 meters divided by 2.1 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second the reason why i converted both of them into you know kilometers to meters is so that i can apply the formula easily right so both of them have to be in the same units now it is nothing but 10 to the power minus 5 seconds right so generally answer no, no you got the answer as 10 to the power minus 5 seconds so generally answer will be either in milliseconds or uh, microseconds so how to convert this 10 to the power minus 5 into either milliseconds or microseconds is uh, if you think about milliseconds milliseconds is nothing but 10 to the power minus 3 right 
so if you don't know how to convert it just for the sake of uh, you know uh, just some shortcut i'm just saying it uh, most of you must be knowing it uh, still so if you want to convert this uh, 10 power minus 5 into milliseconds you know that there has to be 10 to the power minus 3 and if you don't know whether to multiply or divide it or how to take it just do both which means 10 power 5 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 10 power minus 3 now you combine these two so that this one will be milliseconds so if i combine these two it is going to be 10 to the power minus 2 milliseconds right if you want to convert it into microseconds if the if the answer is 10 to the power 5 se minus 5 seconds and if you want to convert it into microseconds microseconds is 10 to the power minus 6 so again you can do the same thing 10 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 10 to the power minus 6 now you combine these two if you combine these two i think you will get it as 10 microseconds minus 6 is microseconds right so either the answer is 10 to the power minus 2 milliseconds or 10 microseconds answer will be either in milliseconds or microseconds right therefore if a packet has to be received by the destination there are two times involved one time is transmission delay where you are going to put the packet onto the outgoing link that depends on length of the packet as well as the bandwidth i mean size of the packet and bandwidth which means here the tt equal to l by b and then once you place the packet onto the outgoing link the last bit in the packet has to physically travel from one end of the wire to the other end of the wire for that time it is going to be propagation delay and the propagation delay formula is d by v okay so now the total time taken for us to send a packet from source to destination is tt plus tp okay so one thing you have to observe is you have to remember is uh, the size of the packet will be in powers of 2 in, in case if the size of the packet is k it is 2 power 10 and the bandwidth is in powers of 10 because the bandwidth is generally measured you know in terms of frequencies therefore it is base 10 and here you know distance and velocity you have to convert both of them into same units like meters and meters per second or kilometers and kilometers per second right now let us say the packet is now received by the destination the receiver once the packet is received by the destination the packet will not be processed by the destination immediately the reason is your packet is going to go and sit in something called as queue right so there will be a buffer in which all the packets that you have sent to the destination are going to go and sit uh, and whenever the receiver has time the processing time then it is going to take the packets one by one from the queue so the amount of time any packet sit in the buffer and wait before being processed is called queuing delay queuing delay and uh, you know about uh, this uh, other part the transmission delay and propagation delay we have the formulas to evaluate it but then in order to find out the queuing delay what is the exact formula we don't have any formula for this therefore in general we are not going to you know calculate the queuing delay and next the next thing is the packet will be taken by the receiver and then it will be processed that is called processing delay and again processing delay also doesn't have any formula that depends on the speed of the processor see queuing delay and processing delay both of them depend on the speed of the processor that the receiver is having if the speed of the processor is you know very high then the queuing delay will be less and even processing delay will be less right so there are the various delays so one delay is transmission delay and other delay is propagation delay and the other delay is queuing delay and the other delay is processing delay and for these two terms we have the formula and for these two we don't have the formula therefore in most of the numericals we consider these two terms as zero that is the only reason so since we don't have any you know exact formula to represent these two we are going to consider you know we are going to consider them as uh, zeros right so we shall see some problems on this